So Matt says, I'm strongly considering using a year-round release fertilizer for a base, then spoon feed for color and growth, gro growth rate after. So we're not going to go, let me think about this. I, I can't think of a paper off the top of my head that's put out, let's say, four pounds of N with 100% polymer coat or something along those lines. And you just did one pound and you had your foundation of nitrogen and then you just kind of went in and your secondary and third, you know, your other applications might have been liquids or herbicides or whatever the case is or just treatments or wetting agent, whatever. So you had your foundation laid. I can't think of a paper that investigated that specifically. Anecdotally, I'll say I've, I've done some work on that anecdotally. So I'm saying anecdotally because I have never published it. Anecdotally, in, in my opinion, that's really the only scenario I can think of where the cost of these polymer coats might actually be worth it. In other words, if you're gonna if you're gonna have let's say this is the longevity of your treatment. So let's say I'm holding my hands up for those listening. Let's say the longevity of your application is or your your season is this long. The shorter, um, the closer, and, and let's say you had a nitrogen source that lasted that long. Well. What we're doing is we're cutting it when we're only doing it this long. I mean, we're only doing it in by half or a quarter. In other words, we're doing multiple applications. Well, when you reduce it down, every time you reduce a little bit of the longevity down from, let, let's say theoretically you had one application that lasted the entire season, and you reduce that longevity down and down and down and down, the closer you're getting to urea. <laughs> That's a reality. You're getting closer and closer to the longevity of urea, the, 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 the less and less time you, really, you, know, you, you have that nitrogen release for. So if you're going to compete with urea on a cost basis, on a how much does it actually cost to produce this product, being the lawn or the sport field or whatever, you've got to get further away from urea on longevity. You've got to get way out there because urea is going to last a lot longer than you think, guys. The turf grass response to urea is going to last a fair amount of time. So if you're going to compete with it, you've got to get way out there, way out there. And if you're going to do one application for the entire season, that is a possibility. I'm saying that the potential's there that it could financially compete with straight urea. Because it's rare, you're probably never gonna get a urea, maybe in the north somewhere where it's, you have short seasons or something, but you're not gonna get a turf grass response to urea lasting four months, five months, six months. You're not gonna get that. So the question is, can you get that from another product? I'm pretty confident you can get that from another product. The question is, how much would it cost? So I, I don't know if I'd jump in with both feet, Matt, but I mean, if you're considering that, I would say that there is, at least anecdotally, a little bit of evidence to support that approach.